<clears throat> do I have more kids sometime? Sometime, yes, sometime in the future, but not now. I'm 19 years old, so I can literally say I'm still a child, somewhat, and I don't really need another child in my life when I'm still one. I do have my little buddy here. He is, I think he's kind of tired. It's his bedtime. It's like 8, 9 o'clock right now. But he is doing a lot better. A lot better since I have taken him to the vet and I have taken care of him myself. So yes, that's Mr. Chevious. He is my baby. He's my love of my life right now. But yeah, I got something to look forward to and take care of every day. I do have a personal matter that is really irritating me and I guess I am going to share it with y'all because I definitely need someone to talk to and if I can't talk to certain people about it then I guess I'll talk to my fans about it. My agent called me today and told me that I could not bring my pet or my lizard whatsoever on set to any shoot. I cannot bring him. It upset me because he's a emotional support pet. I have PTSD really bad and anxiety. And my doctor signed off on it as I can bring him when I need him or when I know I need him. And yesterday, I had to go to the hospital after my shoot because I had an anxiety attack really bad. And they told me, no, I could not have my pet on set. And my pet knows how to comfort me and help my anxiety from getting worse. They just said no, I couldn't have him. But it's kind of messed up that there's other people that bring their dogs or cats or any other animal on set and they ain't even registered as a emotional support pet. They can bring their pet on set and I can't. It's really wrong how they treat other people and animals differently. To me, I see dogs as they can bite anyone. A lizard can't. A lizard won't bite unless you irritate it to the point it will bite. Uh, my lizard is not dangerous. Pretty much it's harmless. It will not mess with you if you don't mess with him. But with a dog, it's a different story. A dog can be anything. It can have mood swings. One minute it can be happy, jumping around, running around, and the next minute it can be mean to people. It can bite people. It can hurt people. For them to tell me, no, I can't have my pet on set, but other can't, other people can have their pets on set, is messed up. To me, it, it kind of upset me today to where it's just wrong. My family, uh, I lied to my family for about three months of me doing porn. I told them I was modeling, I was doing lingerie, I was doing clothes. They thought I was in California, Los Angeles, modeling and not being a porn star. Uh, my mom did not agree with it, agree, agree with it too well, but she is standing behind me because she is, she loves me and I'm her child. 
she's gonna continue to push her kids to do better than what she did and she has done that for 18 years and she kind of made my two sisters and me strong so I can tell you right now some of my family does not like what I do and some of my family are okay with it because they know that we have to have some kind of money to survive in this world um, my mom was the second person that I did call uh, <laughs> And to me, I'm scared of my mother more than my stepfather. My mother is one person you do not want to mess with. So when I called her, I was nervous to tell her because I was scared that I was pretty much going to lose her, my family. But no, when I sat there and told her, she said, she actually took it in a good way and she told me, well, I guess you have to do what you have to do to, to survive in this world. Uh, she took it, well, I thought she was kind of going to take it bad, but my mom and my stepdad had a very sticky situation to where they constantly argue and fuss and fight. They originally got a divorce. Um, my mom didn't have no job, didn't have no money to pay the bills, didn't have no money to keep the house. So it was either me taking the job or my two sisters and my mom and me would be homeless. So, yes, I ended up taking the job. I did not know what porn was until I got into it. I am not used to people coming up to me and asking, asking me if I'm Hannah Hayes. I mean, I was a small town country girl and then next thing you know I became famous. <laughs> I did pretty much take this job for my mom and my two sisters. Now that I have this job, I'm able to help them. I'm able to help my mom pay some of her bills. Unfortunately, my mom and my stepdad did get back together. They just ain't married, but I do still help my mom with some of her doctor bills and medicine bills stuff that she can't really pay for on her own sometimes I do help well good morning and I hope everyone has a nice day because I believe I will today hopefully but I probably going to go back and lay down in my bed because I usually sleep in until 12, not get up like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not me. I can literally say I sleep in to get my beauty sleep because if I don't have enough sleep, I am really grouchy and I do not like being grouchy. I like being more happier than grouchy. Yeah. I am 18 now. We. 19 on the 13th of September. And yes, I'm still in high school and doing classes online. Well, I'm supposed to graduate this year. I do want to finish high school and I do want to go to a two year college. So it is like very complicated because you have school and then you have work too and you're trying to pass all your finals and midterms and everything else. And so it's yeah, it gets pretty tiring. I want to go to a two-year college for business and tech. I want to work with computers and wires.